few days coming up. The uh, New York Toy Fair is getting ready to open, and Renee Rice is joining us this morning. Are you there live at the Toy Fair right now as we speak? It actually opens on Saturday morning, so I'm I'm right near the air, uh, the the Toy Fair, but right off site. But I do have a sneak peek of a lot of great new products. Well, I, I if you don't mind, I've got to ask you about a couple of things because we got we got some samples from the Toy Fair, and a, a couple of them um, they're they're crazy, they're beautiful, whiffer sniffers. Yes. <laughs> Whiffer sniffers are part of the collectability trend this year. And they've really become the it toy for kids who collect. So are they really? Yes. And what you have are uh, some of the new items in the Series 4. So those will be introduced this year. And they really let kids just clip to the backpack or their sports bag. Um, there's characters like Sour Saul or maybe Minty. And they really smell from everything from popcorn to jelly beans. And they also have mystery packages. You might have received one of those where you can find a, a rare special edition character in the mystery pack. Yes, we, we got uh, the, the grape one. Oh, yes, the grape. So delicious. Is he so delicious? <laughs> now, they're beautiful. And my, my sense of smell has been horrible for years. <laughs> uh, but I had somebody in the studio, and I said, does this smell? And they went, whoa, yeah. How, how long does the scent last with them? Oh my gosh, it lasts for a long time. It really does. Um, and the kids, you know, continue to to comment on how well it, it holds its scent. But they're they're absolutely beautiful toys. And is this are they already on the market? Yes, they're already on the market series one, two, and three. And there's even a collector book so kids can find out what they're collecting. Now, we also have other collectibles this year. For example, there's a giant volcano with the T-Rex from the Schleich Company. So they have a dinosaur play world, and you can do all kinds of things with it. There's lava that flows down. You can press the skull to release the stalactites. You can set a dinosaur trap to catch him in the dinosaur jail. You can even hit this big stone, and then the, the fossil puzzle erupts from the side of the volcano. So it's a big play set where you can put any of the, the two dinosaurs that come with it. There's two collectible dinosaurs, and then there's 30 other dinosaurs that people can buy as additional gifts because kids love all the different dinosaurs and saying all those great names. I did not realize that so many collectibles as opposed to, you know, just your typical sports cards and things like that were in vogue right now. Yeah, and in fact, Spin Master is also reviving their Zuzu pets. If you remember those from 2009, they were I like... I know the name. Yes, but... they were crazed, little hamsters that kids collect. This year, they have 20 new Zuzu pets to collect, and each little hamster has, like, you you turn it on, and it, it zooms around, and it moves, and That's each one right. has a little hidden talent. So they, they zoom around, and this year, now they even dance, they talk, they sing. There's a TV show that goes with it. And the, the character names, Pip Squeak, Mr. Squiggles, Num Nums, Chunk, there's fun names for the kids to remember. Now, we also, we also got, because it's funny, this is the first time anybody's ever sent us samples from the Toy Fair. Uh, we got an astronaut's helmet. Apparently, it is from Aeromax. Yes. They're celebrating their 20th anniversary this year, and Aeromax really brings imagination to life with role play and dress up. So they have what's called the Get Real Gear, and it's, um, it's the My First Career Gear Tops and Accessories. So the helmet that you have lets kids pretend to be an astronaut. There's also full-on body suits that they wear, and with NASA... They can wear a NASA set. They can wear a firefighter, a chef. Um, so many different careers and, and that they can, can try. Have, have the stuff personalized. Yes, and even these, um, the helmet that you have, actually, you can turn it on. I think, and it has the mission control sounds and the countdown to blast off. Oh, and I didn't look at that. I I didn't take it out of the plastic because I was waiting to talk to you. Okay, <laughs> I was well, afraid I would break it. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's the one you have that has the sound or not, but it helps kids to dream big, and it really builds their self esteem in early years. Oh wow. How about now, uh, when you're at the New York Toy Fair, do they also deal in, in video games and things? They have some video games, the ones that are tied to the physical toys, but video games are really more at the E3 show, which is in Los Angeles in June. Okay. All right. This deals 
mainly with uh, so what almost seems to be forgotten at times, and that is toys. Yeah, uh, and actually we have some the tradition, cla traditional classic uh, building blocks as well. So Lego continues to innovate toys for younger kids. I was going to ask about that, yeah. Yeah, so they have a new Lego Duplo Bat Cave Challenge. So it, it brings in the Batman license, and it lets the Batman fans actually be their favorite superheroes. This is designed for kids 2 to 5. So they can drive the little Batmobile that comes with it. They can put two characters on the Bat Cycle. They can look for the Joker and Poison Ivy because there's four little figures in the set. So there's mm -hmm. Batman, Robin, the Joker, and Poison Ivy. And then they can just create fun action scenes. And these Lego Duplo bricks, if you remember, they're about two times the size of a classic Lego brick. Yes. So it's better for kids with small hands, and it helps to develop their motor skills. I, I have to tell you, uh, Aeromax sent us a catalog, too. And if, if for those of you that remember the little G.I. Joe character that was attached to a parachute that you threw up in the air and he would parachute down or we would get up on the roof and drop him um, and it, his strings would get all tangled, they <laughs> now have uh, tangle-free parachutes that uh, light up and everything else. I, I'm just... I was really excited looking at all this stuff. It's the fireman still, stuff yeah. from them that you were talking about it is amazing. Uh, are activity books still in? Yes, they are. In fact, Klutz has been around for 40 years now, and they have book-based activity kits. So, for example, they have a Lego make-your-own-movie kit. So you can bring your favorite Lego minifigures to life. Um, with the beginner guide, it's stop motion animation, so it teaches kids from beginners to uh, to advanced how to you know take pictures. You can use their they can make little clips on their phone or their tablet. It comes with six different backgrounds, so they can set up all the little pieces in front, and it comes with thirty six little Lego elements like hats and hair and helmets, a banana, a pizza. Um, so there's lots of fun things, and they also have a So Many Treats activity set. So Klutz has, used to have so many animals, and they still have it. It's one of their best-selling sets, but they've added um, the So Many Animals this year, and it lets you just stitch and stuff an assortment of fuzzy animals, another activity for kids to do, and it's from Felt. Uh, Renee Rice, by the way, is with the thedailylounge.com. Uh, a uh, great site to go to to stay on top of everything. They didn't send me the astronaut helmet with sound. Oh, well, it, it is a more expensive version, but you know oh, what? Okay. Kids can pretend that they're doing the blast off very clearly. <laughs> well, I, I was I was just going to put it on while I was talking to you, but I can't get it over my headphones, <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to hear you. But it is it is it's a you know normally uh, I can remember the older helmets. This one is a little more flexible and it fe even feels safer. For and, a kid to put on. And kids feel more comfortable with it as well, putting it on their head because they don't feel so enclosed that they yeah. can, you know, they can feel that they can still see and have really good peripheral vision. Um, but it adds to the play pattern, being able to wear a helmet as, you know, a as an astronaut. You know, one time years ago, Renee, I don't know if you're old enough to remember the old WKRP in Cincinnati show. Yes. But uh, they did a turkey drop on it. <laughs> and I'm at a shopping center, too, and I did a turkey drop. And I ordered turkey drop protection helmets for the kids. <laughs> uh, boy, I would have loved to have had this astronaut helmet at that time. Uh, where can Now, I know anybody can go to thedailylounge.com for more info, but give everybody a little bit of an oversight of what they, what they find when they go to the Daily Lounge. Um, they'll see pictures of the products that we just talked about. There'll be a description, and there'll be a website that they can go link to, and it'll also tell you which retailers you can go find the product at if they want to go out and buy it for a special birthday gift or for a holiday gift. Um, and actually, Aramax also has construction helmets. So if you ever do a turkey drop again, you can get construction helmets from them. <laughs> now, do you, do you just deal in toys on the Daily Lounge? Um, no, the Daily Lounge also talks about all kinds of social media events. They talk well, I about. I know they do, but I mean, you specifically. I specifically, I'm more toys, games, and kids technology, oh, and juvenile products, some baby great toys. Samples. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I do. Well, I pretty much focus on zero to fourteen and okay. family, kids, family, and technology products as well. So, that's that's a lot of coverage. Still, zero to fourteen is a broad. <laughs> 
a broad spectrum, all the way from dolls to action figures to construction to dress up to sports to wow. plush to just everything that a kid would consider a toy. And now there's also robots and drones and ride-ons and <laughs> so much what more. What a great job. DailyLounge.com. Renee Rice, thank you very much for giving us a preview of the toy show. Appreciate oh, well, it. Thank you, Neil, for having us be a part of your show. Have a wonderful day. Okay, you too. Renee Rice, everybody. We've got the uh, Virginia News Network coming up.